Today we're gonna have a quick overview of Android X86 on a Windows PC and we have the Surface Pro. Yes, hello, welcome! Welcome back guys to another tech video with Human and Sutton and wow we have grown so much together and we're so happy and humbled by your support. Please help us out, subscribe and share this video with your friends so we can grow this channel even more. So on to the video. Okay so we're here in the homepage of Android x86 and we can see our homepage here and we have our, our apps docked down here and we have our app drawer all of our apps we have the calculator calendar context and all that stuff and we can install the apps if you want on the play store here as you can see everything is available here we can also scroll down the notification bar and expand it here so we can see everything then we can go into the settings page here and we can access all the Android settings and here we have one important feature the Android x86 enable native bridge and this means that we can access all the apps in the Android system which does so it emulates all the apps so it can run on this Android x86 for an example PUBG doesn't start if you don't enable this setting so you have to enable this so it can emulate the app Okay, it's time to test some apps here. Let's go to Chrome. Yes, it works perfectly. Uh, let's check out one web page here, the Telegraph. Wow, it works seamlessly. We can scroll down here and we can read our newspaper on our tablet. Wow, this is amazing. Let's test YouTube. Uh, we can test here Astral Chain Review and it plays perfectly here. And we can fast forward full screen and we can also take here it's 1080p wow it's amazing it works seamlessly and perfect okay let's test out the camera app and here you see me it works perfectly and we can also switch to the other camera and we see Sutan here recording the video hi Sutan what do you think excellent excellent yeah it works perfectly, you can record with you and take photos. Okay, so this is one of the two launchers that comes with Android X86. So let's check out the other launcher. We go to settings and then we search as launcher. And then here you press home app and in home app we can change to the taskbar launcher. And as you can see, you have our pinned apps on the bottom. We have YouTube, Chrome, camera gallery and settings then here you have the home menu and you have all the apps listed in the bottom left corner a little windows inspired there i think and the calculator works perfectly calendar works perfectly but when i press here chrome it doesn't work i come straight back to the home app launcher settings so this launcher is not as good as launcher 3 so i would recommend launcher 3 for your use Okay, so now I'm playing PUBG Mobile on my device here and it works. Uh, as you can see I have low settings uh, because this is a not so sturdy and not so powerful computer. It's the Surface Pro 1 but if you have a more powerful computer and more beefed out uh, specs then you can go for PUBG Mobile on uh, Android x86. And one other thing to notice is that this uh, app it recognizes that this is an emulated version of the app so I can only play with other people that have emulated version of the app so I cannot play with people that play the regular version of the app and I have never played PUBG in my life so do not roast me this is the first time I just did it to check if it works uh, PUBG is not my type of game uh, so I, I have no idea what to do and as you can see here uh, all the trees are completely flat, no details, and this is because I have the low settings. And you see the frame rate, it's not the best, but it works. Uh, and if you have, as I said, if you have a more powerful computer, you, you, you will be able to play this with no, no, no hassle, no problems. Uh, but as you can see, I see a car here. I have no idea how to play, but 
Let's see if you can go inside this car. Yes, drive. Let's check the frame rate when I drive here. Yes, the speed works. Speed boost works. Yeah, as you can see, PUBG works perfectly. Android X86, wow, what a system. Wow, what an what a experience this was. Okay, so one nitpick with Android X86 is uh, the Netflix app. If I search for Netflix on the Play Store, I cannot find it. You cannot find it because it doesn't support Android x86. So that's a minor nitpick, but a big nitpick I understand if you're a heavy Netflix user. So have that in mind before installing Android x86. But other than that, it was an amazing experience. Wow, what an experience. I could play PUBG on my Android x86. I could watch YouTube IGN videos and I could read my the Telegraph in the morning there newspaper. So I'm really happy with Android x86. What what a journey, what an experience. Thank you so much Android x86. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Android x86. And don't forget to comment on this video if you have any suggestion of another video you want us to make. And you can also comment if you have any questions. So we will be gladly to help you. Don't forget to like this video to show us some support and share this video with any of your friends that are interested in the Android experience. And also, the bell icon, so important that you get our videos on your notification. And the most important things of them all, the subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe to Human Student to get our videos on your feed. And don't forget, remember, this is... Human! And certain! <laughs>